Hey everybody, today I have a quick review of the GenX Global 50 Round Pod Pack. This is GXG's pod pack designed for use with the GXG 50 round pods, but you can also use it with the slightly larger APP 50 round pods. I think those would also fit in these pouches. If you're looking for a pod pack designed specifically for 50 round pods, your two options are basically this or the PB Mafia 550. The PB Mafia is a little bit more expensive. It's about $25 or $30. This is $10 or $15, so this is dirt cheap as far as paintball gear goes but you're going to get better quality with the PB Mafia. However, this is a really excellent option because it has one big advantage over the PB Mafia 550. The PB Mafia 550 has three very solid loops with the little elastics to kind of hold the pods in. You could put the elastic around the hinges so the pods won't go anywhere. I've used it both with and without the elastic and it's super secure either way for those three main loops. But then it has two of those little elastic loops that aren't really as secure, they're harder to get the pods back into once you've used it and they can fall out when the pods are full before you've grabbed it. So in effect, I always use the PB Mafia 550 as a three round pod pack. This has five full, you can see they're closed pouches for the pods. This is five of them that close with a uh, Velcro strap over the top, okay? So these are five very secure pouches. So this is a much more useful five pod pack than the PB Mafia 550, which is probably better for three pods. As far as quality goes, as I said, this is GXG, so it's not as nice as some of the more uh, upscale paintball gear like PB Mafia or uh, Whiskey 2.4 or something like that. But it does have um, nice like double stitching. Uh, in a lot of places. It seems pretty solid. I wouldn't expect this to be falling apart on you. I've used some GXG stuff over the years and while it's not great, it's certainly not bad by any means. There's a lot of adjustability in the belt sizing, so you can get it relatively tight or you can leave it relatively large. If you do leave it relatively large, one thing you have to consider is that you're going to be exposing whatever you're wearing under it to the hook part of the hook and loop closure, right? So you can do it like this, but then this could like mess with your jersey or something, okay? Uh, other GXG products like their stock class pack actually come with a panel to cover that, so it's not a problem. But this pod pack does not, so you do have to pay attention to that. One little quirk with this is that the two sides of the belt are not the same length. So if you see here, I can actually put this all the way to the end right there and that leaves a little bit of it exposed or I can put the inner part of it all the way to the uh, end of the outside part and that leaves a bit hanging over and that's why this is actually folded back. I had it stored basically like this and that got folded over. So be aware of that. It does have these two nice elastic closures on the outside to secure the belt once you set the size which is very nice and this one actually has uh, the loop part of the hook and loop closure on the outside so if you need them to overlap this one can fold over and it won't be flapping around that's a nice touch i think one downside to this compared to the pb mafia 550 is that you can't really use it with anything other than 50 round pods with the open loops the pb mafia 550 works just fine with 100s or 140s but because these have the closed pouch system of holding the pods and the strap that holds them in place is not elastic, you can't fit anything else in there, basically beyond the APB 50s. One last thing here is that it has a nice bit of reinforcement in the back. There's stitching in the middle of each pouch, and then it has this kind of like vinyl backing that kind of lends a little bit of structure to the back of the pod pouch itself. It's not like some pouches that are solid or padded or anything, but it does give it a little more support than it otherwise would have. But you can see, again, this is GXG quality here, so it's like not even sewn on straight. It's still there and it's still going to do its job, but you know, this was clearly done uh, not as precisely as some other paintball gear out there. But like I said earlier, you can get these for 10 bucks. Uh, they're really cheap. If you look around, you can get them for probably 10 bucks shipped. So yes, there are some quality issues in terms of the precision, but I wouldn't worry so much about it in terms of the durability, at least for a couple of years. And for the money, you get a pretty solid, pretty usable five pod 50 round pod pack. Great for pump play, great for limited paint. So those are my thoughts on the GXG 50 round pod pack. Thanks for watching. See you next time.